Scientists found death-spewing chimneys five miles underwater crawling with impossible life. Underwater lakes that kill everything. Fish living where pressure should crush them into paste. 10 ocean discoveries that completely broke science. Let's count them down. Starting at number 10 on our list, the deep scattering layer. In 1942, Navy sonar operators kept detecting what looked like a solid seafloor at 1,000 feet down, but this seafloor moved up and down every single day like clockwork. Turns out it wasn't the sea floor at all. It was a massive wall of fish, squid, and tiny sea creatures. Billions of animals migrating together in the largest migration on Earth that happens every single day. This discovery revealed that 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide get sucked out of our atmosphere annually by these creatures. Without them, Earth's climate would collapse. But here's what blows my mind. This migration creates its own underwater weather system, stirring up nutrients and feeding everything from tiny plankton to massive massive whales. Most people think whales are the ocean's biggest influence on climate. But what if I told you these tiny migrating creatures actually have more impact? What do you think controls our planet's climate more? But if you think that's impossible, wait until you see what we caught on camera next. At number 9, we have giant squids finally caught on camera. For centuries, sailors told stories about sea monsters with tentacles the size of tree trunks. Scientists dismissed these as myths until 2006 when Japanese researchers finally filmed a living giant squid attacking their bait. These creatures are absolutely massive, up to 40 feet long with eyes the size of dinner plates and rotating hooks on their tentacles that can shred flesh. Their beaks are powerful enough to bite through steel cables. But here's what's terrifying. The squid they filmed was still a juvenile. Adults could be twice as large, making them longer than school buses with tentacles stronger than steel cables. Giant squids battle sperm whales in fights that last hours, leaving scars that look like medieval weapon attacks. We've found squid beaks inside whale stomachs that suggest there might be squids out there even bigger than the 40-footers we've filmed. Here's the crazy part. We used to think giant squids were rare, but evidence suggests they might be everywhere in the deep ocean. Are we literally surrounded by sea monsters we just can't see? Speaking of invisible threats, what we found next makes giant squids look harmless. Number 8 on our list is Methane Seeps Creating Poison Oases Imagine finding a garden growing around a gas leak. That's what scientists discovered in 1984. Entire ecosystems thriving around seafloor cracks that spew deadly methane gas. These cold seeps pump out methane and hydrogen sulfide that would kill most life instantly. But giant clams, tube worms, and bacterial mats have turned these poison vents into underwater oases. The bacteria here eat methane like we eat food, creating energy without needing sunlight. They're literally living off natural gas and turning it into life. We've found over 6,000 of these methane seeps worldwide. Some have been active for thousands of years. And here's the wild part. They might only activate after major earthquakes shake the ocean floor. But scientists are divided on this. Do these seeps cause climate change by releasing greenhouse gases? Or do they actually help by trapping methane underground? I think they're climate heroes, but what's your take? But poison gas is nothing compared to what scientists found next. Coming in at number 7 are Lost City Alkaline Vents. In 2000, scientists discovered something that looks like an alien city. Towering white spires 200 feet tall, venting water so alkaline it could dissolve your skin. Lost City isn't powered by volcanoes like normal vents. Instead, chemical reactions between seawater and ancient rocks create water hotter than boiling point with a pH more alkaline than household bleach. But somehow, microbes thrive in this caustic environment. The chemical reactions here create organic molecules that could be the building blocks of life itself. Scientists think places like Lost City might be where life first began on Earth billions of years ago. The white towers grow naturally as alkaline water meets normal seawater, creating skyscrapers that have been building themselves for over 120,000 years. The big question, if Lost City can create life's building blocks, could similar places on other planets harbor alien life? Some say definitely, others think we're being way too optimistic. Where do you stand? But alien-like chemistry is just the beginning. Wait until you see where life survives next. The number six spot belongs to 
deep water corals in freezing darkness. Everyone knows coral reefs need warm, sunny water, right? Norwegian scientists shattered that belief when they found massive coral cities thriving in 40 degree water, 3,000 feet down in complete darkness. These cold water corals build reefs four miles long in conditions that should kill them instantly. No sunlight, near freezing temperatures, crushing pressure, yet they've been growing for thousands of years. The incredible part? These deep coral reefs house more species than tropical reefs. Fish, crabs, and creatures creatures we've never seen use these ice-cold coral cities as underwater apartment buildings. But here's the heartbreaking truth. Fishing nets have been destroying these ancient reefs for decades because we didn't know they existed. Some coral structures are older than the pyramids. Here's what I find fascinating. These corals survive without the algae that tropical corals need. But wait, how do they get food in complete darkness? Share your theory because this still puzzles scientists. But thriving in darkness is nothing compared to surviving where we're going next. For the number 5 position we have, snailfish living at impossible depths. In 2014, scientists dropped cameras 5 miles down expecting empty water. Instead, they filmed fish swimming around like the crushing pressure was no big deal. These snailfish live, where pressure is 800 times stronger than at sea level, like having 50 jumbo jets stacked on every inch of your body. They should be crushed into paste instantly. But they've evolved see-through bodies, jelly-like bones, and special proteins that keep them intact. The deepest fish ever filmed was at 27,000 feet down, deeper than Mount Everest is tall. At those depths, their bodies are mostly water and antifreeze-like chemicals. They're living at the absolute edge of where life is physically possible. Here's a mind bender. If these fish tried to swim to the surface, the pressure change would make them explode like a balloon. But what if they adapted slowly over time? Could they theoretically make the journey, or is that completely impossible? But extreme pressure is nothing compared to surviving what we found next. Moving up to number 4, we find the Quilacanth Resurrection. December the 22nd, 1938, a South African fisherman hauled up a fish that had been extinct for 70 million years. Finding a living colacanth was like discovering that T-Rex still roamed the earth. These fish are time travelers, barely evolved in hundreds of millions of years. Their fins move like legs. They give birth to live babies instead of laying eggs, and they can live for 100 years. We found them in underwater caves 500 feet down, in places so remote some have never seen sunlight. They're the bridge between sea life and land animals, basically our ancient ancestors. The craziest part? They're so perfectly adapted to their environment that they haven't needed to evolve. It's like nature hit the perfect design and said don't change a thing. Some people claim the Kylacanth proves evolution is fake because it hasn't changed, but that actually shows evolution working perfectly. What's your take on that argument? But ancient survivors are nothing compared to the death traps we found next. Our number 3 pick is Underwater Lakes That Kill Everything Deep in the Red Sea sit actual lakes on the ocean floor, not metaphors. Real lakes with shorelines, waves, and water so toxic it kills anything instantly. These brine pools are five times saltier than seawater and loaded with heavy metals. The water is so dense that submarines literally float on top like boats. Against all odds, bacteria thrive in this liquid death, eating chemicals that would poison us instantly. These lakes preserve everything like time capsules. Scientists found evidence of ancient earthquakes and tsunamis in the toxic layers. But here's the terrifying part. Some pools have bacteria and viruses that create floating disease carriers traveling across oceans. They're like underwater biological weapons factories. The water looks beautiful from above, crystal clear with perfect ripples, but one drop would kill most sea life instantly, nature's ultimate death trap disguised as paradise. But toxic lakes are nothing compared to the alien worlds we discovered next. In the runner-up position at number 2, we have hydrothermal vents and impossible life. In 1977, scientists diving 8,000 feet down expected a cold, dead desert. Instead, they found towering chimneys spewing water at 750 degrees, hot enough to melt lead, surrounded by the most alien life on Earth. These black smokers shattered biology forever. The water is boiling hot, toxic, and cut off from sunlight. Yet scientists found 8-foot tube worms with no mouths, ghostly crabs, and bacteria that eat pure chemicals. This discovery proved life doesn't need the sun. These creatures get energy from chemicals through chemosynthesis, pure science fiction before 1977. The 
tube worms live for centuries without eating food. Instead, they house bacteria that convert toxic hydrogen sulfide into energy. They're living chemical factories. Here's the mind-blowing part. These vents might be where life first evolved 3 billion years ago. They're our best clue for finding life on other planets. But even alien life can't compare to our number one discovery. And finally, taking the top spot at number one is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and the Deep Plastic Apocalypse. In 1997, a sea captain found ocean areas with six pieces of plastic for every piece of natural plankton. He'd discovered the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but that was just the beginning. Microplastics have rained down to Earth's deepest places. Scientists found plastic five miles down in trenches humans have never visited. It's in Arctic ice, in rain falling from the sky, even in the food chain at every level. Here's what's truly terrifying. We found 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic in just one garbage patch. These microscopic pieces carry bacteria and viruses, creating floating disease carriers crossing entire oceans. But the most shocking discovery, some deep sea creatures are evolving to eat plastic. They're literally adapting to survive in our polluted world. The ocean floor is becoming a plastic graveyard where our waste gets preserved forever. Future archaeologists will find a distinct plastic layer marking when humans dominated Earth. These discoveries prove life finds a way in the most impossible places. But we've only explored 5% of our oceans, meaning 95% is still completely unknown. The creatures hiding in that darkness could be even more incredible than anything we've found. Speaking of the unknown, there are deep ocean sounds we've recorded but can never explain. Mysterious noises that don't match any known creature. That's what we're diving into next, so watch that video to uncover the ocean's most terrifying unsolved mysteries.